are warming up. As you can see, they are getting ready. They are warming up, they are dancing, they are just vibrant, happy, happy thoughts, hopefully, hopefully. Now, sir, can you tell us what are the outcomes that you're expecting from these elections? We are far beyond hopeful that Sasko is going to come out victorious. But our disappointment is one. Since we are aware that uh, we should be having examinations that were uh, supposed to be proceeding, uh, the turn up of students coming to vote is not necessarily what we expected. But uh, we are happy with those that arrived at that page to come and vote, but we are, we are disappointed with the number on its own. But uh, our hope is one, Sasko is going to uh, come out uh, victorious. Thank you very much and good luck. It's a pleasure. Anytime is tea time. Thank you. Thank you very much. And with me right now, we have Sasko's upcoming president. And Tate Mukhet is Khalifa. Just kindly tell me shortly what you think it has on today, the, the, the manifesto, the impact it has today. Uh, thank you very much for having us. Uh, CUT TV uh, were highly uh, humbled with this invitation. However, going to the question we are saying, Remember, Manifesto Presentations is a platform created to enable organizations, a platform to engage with students as to or now. What is it that they're going to do as an organization coming um, after and beyond the SRC elections? So the impact on itself is a genuine and sincere impact in ensuring that students are going to know what is it that they're going to vote for, what is it they're, they're going to expect, such that people can account at the end of the day to say no, but you said we are going to do one, two, three, but you have not delivered, or you have delivered. So that is the, uh, in general, the impact that it has at the end of the day. Okay, so thank you. Um, external forces seem to be very concerned that CUT students always want to strike come exam time. So what do you have to say about that? People who utter those statements that uh, we want to delay exams is the question that they are not conscious enough of what is happening or, or what is the start, uh, uh, current status quo of the university in terms of leadership. Because the very same terms of reference that they have been introduced, uh, introduced it, 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 them themselves, they are failing to implement it to the core. You see, so for for us to say so, because the the very same opposition parties, just to go and give you a glimpse of it, the very same opposition parties came with external forces in both campuses. But it's not because we are people of integrity and then we are people of peace. We said let them let them come. We'll see them in the ballot. They blundered. They called the uh, individual from regional of some sort, a man with, without credentials, called, I, I don't remember that man. The very same men who have evidence of that, they are, they are physically attacking students in the institution. They have blundered, the, they have blundered the, 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 the very same calendar of the institution. So are, these people, management and the opposition parties, both of them, they are in the same WhatsApp group of... FFSC, and I'm going to ask them a few questions. Um, how do you feel being an upcoming organization running against big sharks, organizations that have already established themselves within the university? Okay, I am Chakare Fule, the incoming public relations officer deployed by EFFSC. We feel very proud as we can see that South Korea and Pass might have been in the office for the past years, but yet nothing, they did nothing for the student, yet they keep on promising them. So as we have FFLC, we are here to deliver for to the students. As a student party, what is it that you think you can tackle and, and help students with? Uh, 
Thank you very much. As EFFS student command, we are promising our students that in 2019 we don't want financial exclusion or academic exclusion. We saw that our students are robbed daily here in campus. So we are requesting to the management of CUT to bring ATMs for our students so that our students can have ATMs in campus. I can see that the camera likes you, so I'm tempted to to ask you another question, I think this one will be a simple one. So, uh, who do you think is going to come out victorious concerning these elections? In one word, simple. Pazma is taking the votes today. I'm not going to lie. By tomorrow, we're going to hear the results. But for my sake, I am saying on my side, Pazma is taking it one way all day, every day. I, Naki EFF, all the way. Yes. <laughs> Um, not if you start the election, see you bona, who saw a more hash or more holo of a toot, lots of it, Sasko. So, yeah, Kibabona, Kibana President Mukhat has a do, Timan. Happy Kiana President, I see you too for Com Campus. How not gonna reap at least some of us.